toughest part is going to be um, holding back to start with, because you end up doing yourself, don't you? you end up, well, going faster than you ought to, getting too enthusiastic. You can find me heart rate monitor. <laughs> Not too bad actually. Um, Eight, five miles, something like that, up to now. I think so, yeah. I'm gonna be late. Met Joe, no idea how long ago now, but it's a long time ago. And uh, we met um, on the scene and e ever since we've been good mates. We drank a lot of beers together. I would describe Joe as a very driven person, um, likes to set himself some crazy challenges <laughs> and uh, a damn hard worker. For me riding, uh, obviously I've been around for for many years and I've uh, been racing for a long time at a very high level um, but I just have fun on my bike I, I, I enjoy racing and I enjoy riding my bike so um, that's what inspires me and that's what get, gets me out of bed in the morning it's awesome that Joe is um, raising awareness of, of JMC Jason McCroy he's one of the first British riders that actually got to, to travel um, to America, take on the Americans and, and get a factory deal. He got a, a deal with uh, Factory Specialised and back then that was a massive inspiration for me and, and made me realise that us Brits could actually go out there and take on the world and, and do it. So unfortunately Jason had an accident on a motorcycle and um, died almost 20 years ago now. So it's a 20 year anniversary and it's brilliant that Joe's raising awareness of that and JMC still lives strong. I'm joining Joe on this ride, on, on his challenge, it's a, it's a huge challenge, he's got 210 miles to do in the day, um, coast to coast, uh, across the UK, and uh, I'm joining him for a mile or two, just as a token gesture, and uh, to help him along, give him a little bit of support for the ride.
can't forget people that's been important in his lives. And Jason McCroy was such a star um, to do something memorable on a, a 20th anniversary of his uh, well, like saying death, but 20th anniversary of his death. You know, it's uh, for me, it's crucial. I couldn't see it day go. The hardest bit is going to be after Jason's memorial, after there. It's going to start to tell a bit then. I didn't like climbing up some of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I must admit, I did a little bit of a walk thing. We don't get any biscuits. What? Three biscuits left. Yeah, why is it always rain? It spells all fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Up. Hey kid now. How are you? How are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh puddles down there. Dog walkers. Oh. I really think it was Sunday. I dropped my bottle twice. I slipped out my hands because my hands are cramping up. my thumbs off a few years ago and uh, ever since then I've had these tendon problems in me and it's a bit smoother. Smoother? Yeah. We've got about 70 miles haven't we? I'm, I'm doing this for Rifle Michael uh, fund, but it's also uh, for Aurora fund. Well, that's important because uh, it helps uh, victims of cancer. Hey, up, Joe, how is it? How is it? Uh, you could say damp, uh, but if I said damp, I'd be lying. Dry gloves and socks. Huh? Don't look at me. Joe is a happy man. Ooh. Look at this, you get wet for Michael. <laughs> you the one, you? Yeah.
mate who's suffering with cancer. And uh, if you don't know why I do it, because I can't. Because some people can't. Yep. Well done, Joe. Oh, thanks, mate. Well done, mate. Well done. Really well done. Fast felt that. Do you don't know why I do it? It's because I can. There's some people can't. <laughs>